Ford and Crossroads, good morning. Uh, I just realized I forgot my uh, lapel uh, mic. So, go, go ahead and have a seat, go ahead and have a seat. The other day I was looking for my phone and I realized I was talking on it, so, uh, no figure. So, uh, it happens. Uh, right? <laughs> uh, happy Sunday, good to see y'all. I wanted to share a portion of scripture with you. Um, you know, Psalms uh, uh, shares the uh, experiences of... Uh, uh, in real life, in real color. And uh, I, I think uh, we can relate to, um, if, if not at one point, uh, at many points of what the psalmist uh, says within uh, Scripture. And um, I want to share this here out of uh, Psalm 16. Uh, it's towards the, uh, the very beginning uh, of the book here uh, as it is written. And... Um, David writes this, and I, I find this to be rather interesting because I think we can all relate to this. He says this. He says, I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Uh, some, some translations say, uh, I have focused always on the Lord before me. I have always focused. And, you know, it's, it's really easy to become unfocused on the Lord. It's really easy for us to become distracted and detoured. It's really for us to become dissuaded or even discouraged. But David said, he said, I have set the Lord always. It is a benefit for us no matter what happens in your life, to always focus on the Lord. Amen. Always. No matter how bad it gets, no matter how bad it seems, no matter how difficult, a lot of times we want to uh, uh, focus on our situation, focus on our troubles, focus on our worries. We want to focus on our, uh, uh, our situation at hand. Uh, we want to focus on the problems but he says, focus on the Lord. Because it's the Lord that has the answer. When we focus on the, on the problem, we're focusing on a problem, and there's no solution in the problem. The only solution is in the Lord. There's no answer in the problem. And there's no peace in the problem. There's worry. There's discouragement. There's disappointment. And there's sadness in the problem. And that's what we will find in the problem. But he says to focus upon the Lord. And then he says this. He says, here's the reason why you focus on the Lord. He says, because he is at my right hand and I shall not be moved. The right hand is a position of authority. The right hand is a position of power. The right hand is a position uh, of uh, leadership and kingship. He says, all my life, the way that I live it, I live it under the authority, under the authorship, under the kingship and the leadership and the wisdom of the Lord. And as long as I do that, I will not be dissuaded. I will not be moved. My faith will not change. And no one or no thing is going to change my mind because of my circumstances or my situations. I will remain a believer in Christ Jesus. Amen. Y'all receiving this morning, church? Isn't it good? Isn't it good? Isn't it good to have the Lord on your side? Isn't it good to, to be a believer? Isn't it good to know that if God is for you, who could be against you? Isn't it good to know that God is always with you? That He will never leave you nor forsake you? Isn't that good stuff? You know, what we get on Sunday mornings, people pay hundreds of dollars for per hour to get. And you come here and you get it for free. You get it for free. Praise God. He is our counselor. He is a friend in times of trouble. Uh, he, he is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Amen. Let's go ahead and bow our heads and pray. 
Heavenly Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus, Lord. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord, uh, for your counsel, Lord. We thank you for your wisdom, Heavenly Father. We thank you for your guidance, Lord. We thank you for your authority, Lord. We thank you for your supremacy, Heavenly Father. We thank you for your eternality, Heavenly Father. We thank you for your divinity, Lord God. Uh, we thank you for uh, your wisdom and your intelligence, Heavenly Father. We thank you for your guidance, Lord. Uh, we thank you for your faithfulness and your companionship, Heavenly Father. Uh, we thank you, Lord, for your commitment to us, Lord. Even though we fail, Lord, you are still committed to us. And, Father, we pray that we always keep our focus upon you, Heavenly Father, that we are not dissuaded by situations, by things, uh, uh, by uh, circumstances, uh, by positions in this world, Heavenly Father, for you are the one true God. You are everlasting to everlasting. You are the eternal one, Lord, the one true one that lasts in our lives forevermore and evermore. And so, Father, we pray here in this service that you are welcome here. Holy Spirit, run freely in this service. We invite you. Break what needs to be broken. Loose what needs to be loosed. And bind what needs to be bound, Heavenly Father. And we pray this in the name of Jesus. And all of God's people said, Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor Bill. Good to be in God's house. Amen. Amen. Nice to have our friends Art and Dee Worlich from Tennessee. Was it ever this week? Heaven and God for the past for the many years. Nice to have you here this morning. I had a chance to talk to Art the other night. He said, I asked him, uh, is there any special song you'd like to sing for the service? And he says, no, just something good. That, that kind of narrows it down. <laughs> I'll do the best we can. We're going to do a great song. Old hymn of the church, where can I go but to the Lord? Oh, 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 oh. 